What's going on, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. What's up? This is Paul from Dig the Grave, and you are watching BJ the Metal Connoisseur. What's going on, fellas? Yaterbug coming in hot from Breakdown Central. I just wanted to let you guys know that y'all are watching BJ Metal Connoisseur. Hey, this is your boy, Neil T from Anomaly, and you're watching BJ the Metal Connoisseur. Hi, I'm Jens, vocalist of Confusing Paradise, and you're watching BJ the Metal Connoisseur. Hey, this is Ryan, singer of Florida band Royal Hearts, and you're watching BJ the Metal Connoisseur. Stick around. Hello and greetings from Finland. This is Tuomo from Scarsa Solitude, and you're watching BJ the Metal Connoisseur. Hey, this is James from Cincinnati Bowtie, and you're watching BJ the Metal Connoisseur. Today guys, I have good news, especially for fans of Linkin Park. Uh, Linkin Park is finally back after a long, long hiatus since Chester's death. Uh, it's, it's so exciting to, you know, uh, finally get to see these guys, you know, performing again. And they have a new vocalist and our name is Emily. Uh, she's the vocalist of Dead Sarah. Uh, personally, I don't really know Dead Sarah as a band, uh, but uh, I hear she's a very good vocalist. And um, I watched a, a live video uh, where they, uh, where she performed, you know, with Linkin Park. And um, I, I don't think she's a bad vocalist. I, I think she's good. She's, she's pretty good. Uh, from what I saw in the video, I, I, I'm impressed that, you know, uh, Linkin Park was able to, you know, do something different. Uh, first off, uh, having a female vocalist and also taking a new direction, you know, in the musical path. Uh, and the band reiterated that, you know, the, the plan was not to replace chester no they, they just want to carry on his legacy and uh, they just want to move forward as a band uh it's it's just you know crazy that you know emily has been getting a lot of backlash you know people trying to say she, she she's a wannabe chester people trying to say she's you know she, she's no fit for the band people trying to say yeah uh, linkin park shouldn't have you know uh, you know employed the female vocalist and stuff like that but I don't know. I, I just feel like you know the backlash is way too much, and um, it, it's it's unjust in my opinion. Because uh, um, I saw from the live video that you know she she really you know put in her best. She she wasn't trying to replace Chester. That was what she said. She doesn't have any intention of replacing Chester, no. But you know she just wants to you know add to the you know musical project of you know Linkin Park. Just want to bring bring in our own you know uniqueness to the band. You know work together as a team. And uh, that's that, that's how it should be. Honestly, that's how it should be. Um, so I, I don't know with all the backlash that she's getting. I, ju I just feel it's not really nice. It's not cool, you know, that she's getting all that backlash. Uh, anyways, we are going to be checking out the new single that it dropped recently. And this single is titled uh, "The Emptiness Machine." Uh, having Emily for the first time as their female vocalist. Um, so guys, uh, without further ado, let's quickly check this song out. So good to hear my Chino down vocals again. Just the gully waiting for Emily's spot. Falling for the promise of the emptiness machine. The emptiness machine. Oh, yes. Going around like a revolver. Oh, my God. Our voice. Fuck. Emily's voice be giving me chills, man. I 
the chorus. Very cool. I know Linkin Park, they're experimenting something different, but um, I still like the fact that, you know, they still have a little bit of their roots in the song. I love this part, fuck. This is a good song, man. Wow, that was a beautiful song, guys. That was a beautiful song. Wow, that was, that was very, very good. Pretty sick. So you guys just listened to Linkin Park's new song, The Emptiness Machine, featuring uh, Emily uh, as the new vocalist now. Uh, very, very interesting song. I love this song a lot. Uh, it's a good one. Good one. I like the direction that, you know, the band is taking. Uh, I like the fact that, you know... Uh, they tried something new and um, they they were not predictable, which is something that I I was really impressed with. Because uh, you know, first of all, no one was expecting Linkin Park uh, Linkin Park to be back to the scene again. You know, ever since Chester's demise, and uh, now they're back. You know, announcing their return uh, that kind of took everybody by surprise. And not just that, they also have a new vocalist, a female vocalist at that, which no one expected. Like it was. I don't know, it, it was the greatest surprise, you know, uh, of the century, man. It was the greatest surprise, you know, and uh, it's got everybody talking, you know, everybody with, with a different opinion. Some are cool with it, some are not cool with it, you know, um, a lot of speculations here and there. But, you know, I just like the fact that, you know, the band is finally deciding to move forward, you know, um, after, you know, Chester's uh, demise. May, may so rest in peace. Uh, Chester Benningson really left a huge mark in the band. Um it was it was one of the you know uh, best vocalists out there. Chester's vocals is just on another level. Uh, it was it was a really you know big shock to everyone when we learned of you know suicide. Um, it was really crazy. Um, I I I think a lot of people were not able to you know uh, cope with it so well. Um, even me, I I wasn't I wasn't able to cope with it so well. Uh, I'm not so much of a huge fan of Linkin Park, um, but I like the band personally. I like the band. Uh, they're a good band. It's a band that I respect very, very well. Even if I won't rate them as, you know, my top five or top ten bands, but Linkin Park is a band that I really respect. And I do listen to Linkin Park, you know, every once in a while. So um, I knew what, you know, Chester did with the band when it was still alive. And uh, uh, personally, I don't think anyone can replace Chester. And um, the band has even said it, uh, Mike Shinoda, uh, I, I think he said in one of the interviews that um, the plan was not to, you know, replace Chester at all, no, they just want to move on as a band and, you know, just, you know, do something new, you know, get past the old, you know, um, um, grief and all of that, you know, just, um, just heal, you know. And uh, even Emily, she said it herself, uh, she's not, you know, here to replace Chester. So I just feel like, you know, we should give Emily a break. I mean, this, the, the backlash is just too crazy. I uh, just feel you guys should just give her a break, give her a breather. Uh, let's see what she can do with subsequent releases. Let's see if she's, you know, really fitting to be, you know, the vocalist of, you know, the Great Linkin Park. Uh, but so far, so far uh, with this song, uh, this is a good starting point. And um uh, Emily didn't disappoint at all. She didn't disappoint me. And, and I'm sure she'll, you know, she'll keep the consistency, you know, with subsequent releases. Uh, so this brings the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel. I really appreciate the shit out of you. 
you took your time to watch down to this part of the video thank you so much uh quickly hit that subscribe button if you're yet to do that and also turn on post notifications to get notified whenever i drop new videos on the channel it's going to help the channel grow and it's going to help you guys get new bangers on the channel so it's a win-win you know situation for us all uh so quickly you know hit that subscribe button guys if you're yet to do that um also uh if you don't know linkin park uh this is the first time of you know hearing out this band i'll drop the links in the description do well to you know check it out uh, so guys uh, i'll catch you in the next one peace